Young here from Telespark, and today I was on my afternoon jaunt around the neighborhood to avoid feeling too cooped up due to social isolation, and I came across this beauty here. And this being a pretty traditional windy Calgary afternoon, I thought it would be a good opportunity for us to talk about waves. So as the wind picks up, we come in a little bit closer here. If you watch the surface of the water, you can see that the way, that there are ripples starting to form just as a result of the wind. Now this is exactly how waves on the ocean work as well. It's something called fluid dynamics. So in a large surface of water like this, as the wind comes across, it's acting on the top of the surface of the water and it's pulling it along. In the ocean, ripples can travel as far as thousands of miles before they make landfall. So what's happening is, is that as it's pushing the surface of the water along, there has to be a similar motion along the bottom. And as you get closer to the shore, that process along the bottom is going to slow down. There's more drag because you're hitting the, the bottom of the beach. And that causes the top of the wave to crest out of the water and fold over itself. What we typically refer to as the surf, or those choice waves for some surfers, bro. Now you can replicate this at home with tools as simple as a bowl of water and your own breath. Let's go over and we'll take a look now. All right, everyone. So now we're back inside and we're going to try to recreate what we were observing outside with the puddle. I filled up this bathtub with water and we're just going to blow across it. Just bring your head close to the water. And now the harder you blow, the more waves and ripples you're going to see. And there you have it, a simple way to create some waves in your own home. Hang loose, everybody.